Hi, the purpose of this video KB is to provide information on how to create Metadata Manager service on the existing Informatica domain. This is applicable to PowerCenter 8.6.x and all Informatica 9.x versions. The agenda of this KB is to provide the purpose of using Metadata Manager, prerequisites for creating Metadata Manager service. We will also go through the steps of creating the Metadata Manager service, assign user privileges to the service and to log in to the MM console. Metadata Manager is a web based application which is used to manage access to metadata in the Metadata Manager repository or warehouse. It can be used to browse and analyze metadata from separate source repositories. It helps to load, browse and analyze metadata from application, business intelligence, data integration, data modeling and relational metadata sources like Oracle, DB2, etc. The Metadata Manager repository or warehouse stores the metadata from metadata sources. Prerequisites for creating Metadata Manager service. First, we need to verify if Metadata Manager license is there. For that, go to the admin console, login, select the license, and go to the options and check under the service options if you see the metadata manager license also we need one empty database schema for mm warehouse make sure that you have a power center repository service and integration service in the domain. You can either create a new power center repository service specially for metadata manager service or you can use the existing one which you already have. General recommendation is to have a separate power center repository service for metadata manager as it will create a folder with bunch of mappings, maplets, workflows and worklets which will help in loading the metadata from metadata sources to metadata manager warehouse or repository. Now we will go through the steps of creating the metadata manager service. For that log in to the admin console go to the actions new and then metadata manager service now provide the name of the mm service license node the integration service and the login to the repository service. Now provide the database information. This is the place we are supposed to use the empty schema for MM Warehouse repository. Select the code page and provide the database schema information. You can either select Oracle SID or service name depending on what information you have provided on or you are using and if there are any additional JDBC parameters which you want to pass you can do that too. Select the port on which you want the MM service to run and uh, if you want to enable the secure socket layer provide the uh, Key, key store file and key store password for that. Click on finish 
and the mm service will be created now we have to create the repository contents only then we will be able to enable the metadata manager service for that go to actions repository contents and click on create so here if your repository uh, power center repository does not have any contents you can click on this option so that it creates the contents for the power center repository as well as for the metadata manager but if you already have it like i do have an existing power center repository uh, which is empty i have created for this service and uh, the contents already there so i don't have to select this option so while the contents is great and created let me connect to the the power center repository schema and show you that it's empty so this is the repository currently I don't have any folders in it once the content is created go ahead and enable the service when you enable the metadata manager service for the first time it will take some time as it has to deploy all the folders uh, from the mmvar files so it may take almost like 5 to 10 minutes once the metadata manager service is enabled make sure to assign the user privileges for the metadata manager service for that go to security tab select the user for which you want to give the privileges edit and I want for power center as well as metadata manager click OK now go back to the domain and select the service URL for metadata manager to launch the mm console once the mm console is launched log in with the user ID and password and you will be able to log into mm console and use these to browse and search for the metadata catalog create and edit the models and create load and schedule resources and also you can configure security over here now when you go to the uh, when you go to the repository manager and connect to it again you should see a metadata load folder with bunch of workflows and worklets getting created these are the ones which helps you in loading the metadata from your sources to the MM warehouse or repository. For more information on creating and configuring metadata manager service, refer to the administrator guide. You can give the feedback on the support or Twitter account at support video at informatica.com or https colon slash slash twitter.com slash info support thank you